Artists from all across the globe are headed to Arkansas. They're bringing their creativity and talent to launch a public art initiative. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker tells us about the type of art we'll soon see pop up all across the natural state. Our canvas is a partnership between Oz Art and The Unexpected, which in the past has painted murals across downtown Fort Smith. The idea is that we're bringing really world-renowned artists to these spaces to create excitement and give people something to look forward to, something to engage with in a safe manner. Art collection manager for Oz Art, Elizabeth Miller, says there will be 10 artworks across northwest Arkansas, four in Bentonville, some in Rogers, Springdale, Fort Smith, and several in the central part of the state. She says the artists are from all across the globe. It's really bringing together a worldwide effort to, to bring this art here. It's all focused around the theme of Unite. Um, kind of the idea of these times, we're really looking for a uniting outdoor experience. And so bringing art from these artists that can unite us all. They haven't announced exactly where the art will go just yet, but Art Canvas will start here in downtown Bentonville next Thursday and will finish up in central Arkansas at the beginning of November. The French artist who goes by the name Mantra previously painted this mural in downtown Fort Smith. He will be coming to Little Rock to paint a similar mural. He says he's honored that he can share his vision in murals to try and connect people. Honored that uh, production I already worked with, uh, worked with uh, in terms of unexpected from Fort Smith and Just Kids, uh, that they also keep trusting my way of not just painting but also walking. And yeah, I'm more than glad that uh, we're going to repeat their experience again. In Bentonville, covering news where you live, Katherine Gilker, 5 News. Our canvas will have an interactive experience with films highlighting each artist on their social media pages. You can find a link to that on our website, 5newsonline.com.